Hey, what's up guys? It's Marsman here, and welcome back to another episode of Fast Guide to Dark Souls 2. So today we're going to do the Lost Sinner, which used to be my most dreaded boss fight. Uh, for some reason, I was just so scared of it. it, it she moves really fast, and it's just a really kind of scary thing in the dark. Now, there is a strategy that if you defeat the gargoyles and you get a certain key, you can actually light up the place, and your lock-on has a much bigger range. But the thing is, honestly, if you're fighting with a 100% physical block shield and you just have a bit of stamina, it's really a cakewalk. It's it's no more difficult than like a regular enemy with a sword. It just has really like quick movements. Now, here's another Lucatil spot. You can use it for uh, the Lost Sinner. There's a Sublime Bone Dust right there on the left behind that guy, but I run straight through here and I only come here once during the game. I find it's not needed. Um, and a lot of people kill enemies. If you do this exact route, you'll have just enough time to get to the switch, pull it, and flip through here. You can see that guy was right on my ass. And now these are the guys that will explode, send you flying, and you can only take a couple hits from those guys. So, kind of a tricky thing, and that's why I let it at regular speed the whole time. Uh, now Sinner, like I said, is really a pushover. So, hold your shield up, take a hit. When she doesn't attack, hit back. That's basically all you have to do. And there's kind of enough time to tell and predict if there's going to be a follow-up attack or not. I try to stick to the, her back as much as possible. Um, but just taking the sword honestly doesn't really do anything. Uh, you can see the kind of sporadic movement once in a while, like right there. But don't... Don't rush in to get a hit or anything, just stand, walk around and move and really like go with the flow like that and it's a piece of cake boss fight. Uh, I would not recommend dodging it because it's so quick that uh, in this instance blocking works a lot better or, or so I've found anyways. Uh, as you can see and then you you know broke the poise, stun and just finish. It, it Really an easy boss fight. I don't know what I was so scared of before. I thought dodging was the answer to that boss fight, but honestly, it's just taking the hit on the shield, and uh, it's as easy as that. So, uh, Lost Sinner, you know, in a minute it is very easy. Now, on New Game Plus, it becomes a lot more difficult uh, because of the added NPCs and uh, mobs that you have to fight uh, once it's down at, at half health. But in New Game, very simple. So I'm just going to go level up as I always do, and that'll wrap up the episode. Very short one, I told you. Uh, these would be short. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment, uh, or a dislike and comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. There are 15 other of these uh, out and more to come, so I hope it's been uh, enjoyable for you guys who have been around for the whole series. And uh, yeah, next time we'll do the lead up to the Old Iron King, and then I'll fight the Old Iron King in episode 18, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.